Good morning, my name is Peter VK4EA. I've just finished packing the truck, heading off this morning to the activity day. And uh, it's a bit overcast at the moment, but um, no predicting rain, but we'll get out there and have some fun anyway. Hi, I'm Scott, VK4CZ, and welcome to the uh, Brisbane Microwave Activity Day. Just setting up on 1296 at the moment here at Cobble Creek, high above the Sanford Valley. That's heading pretty much toward Brisbane and down south. And that's the rain we just drove through. Very, very heavy. So Scott's using his home brew Yagi. We're up at uh, Cobble Creek at Walter Henderson Park, Queen Golf 62, Japan Radio. It's a quick panorama we've set up and first up uh, the VK4CZ set up 1296 ICOM 910 sitting underneath the umbrella we're just about to get a shower of rain from the north Doug VK4 OE's 3-in-1 uh, box 10 gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz uh, on the tripod and just behind a 36 element 1296 uh, Yagi and a small 2.4 gig Yagi coming around a little bit further and we've got uh, Peter VK4EA and his setup at the moment G'day, Adam VK4GHZ. Just up here at Toowoomba at Katoomba Point Lookout. Um, we're about 600 metres above sea level and we're setting up for a microwave activity day. Usual setup here, I use a Black & Decker work mat. An old ABC television uh, camera tripod. level the bubble. This is a 60 centimetre prime focus dish. It's uh, got a tri-band RF hand design ring feed on it. Just tilt this forward a bit. And today we're going to use it on 3.4 and 10 gigahertz. One of the things I do um, pretty quickly once I've got a lot of the stuff out is hook the uh, transverter up to a power supply. It has the Thunderbolt GPS in it, which I use as a 10 meg master lock for, um, for all the PLLs. So it only takes a few minutes to get going, so while that's uh, warming up, I can uh, hook everything else up. The IF rig here is the ever popular FT817. Great little radio, perfect as a microwave IF transceiver. Controls are a little bit fiddly, but once uh, you've set it up, it's pretty much a case of set and forget. Just needs power. We have a control cable, controls the sequencer. My particular sequencer design is a true sequencer and it uses the transmit inhibit line that the 817 has. So no RF comes out of the 817 until the sequencer tells it's okay to, which I think is a much better idea than having a sequencer that's based on RF detection because um, it's already too late. For 2.4 gigahertz, I'm just, just just using one of these commercially available grid packs for uh, Wi-Fi. They work really well. Hi, I'm Doug, VK4ADC. And for today's outing, I'm at uh, Mantravat. This is a bit of an idea of the, the view I've got from ground level here. That's across towards Mount Cutha, uh, through the trees there. Further round we come and then we have Brisbane City and further round still, oh, there's some antennas there. That's uh, 2.4 and 3.4 and the box on the back there is the 2.4, 3.4 transverter. Above that we have the uh, 5.7 and 10 gig and then on the top we have the 23 centimetre or 1296 meg Yagi um, 
and they're all aligned so that I can actually point them all simultaneously in one direction and just to make it that little bit easier down on the Black & Decker workmate you can actually see a compass with a pointer just above the compass and for the um, liaison across in the back the ground there the two metre vertical whip uh, above a ground plane the equipment itself in the back of the car and it's uh, an ICOM 706 transceiver and it switches across into the 23 centimetre transverter on the top left hand side the middle box at the moment is just showing uh, lat long and time the coaxial switch next to long is, uh, is not being used today and the transceiver at right on the top is the uh, 146.500 liaison FM transceiver <laughs> VK4 Golf Hotel Zulu, VK4 Golf Hotel Zulu Portable from Katoomba Point Lookout. The VK4 Golf Hotel Zulu, VK4 Golf Hotel Zulu, VK4 Charlie Zulu, VK4 CZ. Hey, good morning Scott, good day. Uh, 5 and 3, 53 on the guest meter, uh, which is really encouraging. I, I wasn't expecting much of a path at all, giving the, the ter terrain uh, profile over. Yeah. yeah, QSL Adam, thanks for the 5 and 3, you're 5 and 1, 51, just flicking the uh, meter occasionally up, but uh, yeah, really surprised to hear you. Um, I haven't even optimised the boom, I've um, it just basically um, put it up on the pole and it's pointing where it's pointed. Um, stand by a minute. Yeah, okay, QSL standing by. Kev again. How's that? That's just a rough guess. Say any stronger now, VK4 CZ Portable, VK4 Golf Hotel Zulu Portable. A lot more audio from you at the moment. Okay, your revised signal report is 5 and 9.59. Nice uh, armchair copy, over. Yeah, okay, QSL, well, thanks for that. Yeah, it's still occasionally uh, just a little flick uh, on the first part of the bar, but not too often. But um, are you running the preamp? No, negative, it's just the uh, IC910 barefoot, over. Yeah, okay, well, QSL, well, I've got a uh, huge discrepancy in the signal, but uh, I'm happy to have 5 and 9. Yeah, um... My RF power is set to maximum, so um, either I'm not putting out the full uh, 7 or 8 watts, or <laughs> the possibility is you've got a module that's deaf, over. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% uh, convinced if it's, uh, if it's not not deaf. <laughs> the signals I hear around Brisbane, uh, some are strong and most of them are pretty weak, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Might have to uh, test it. VK4K double J, VK4 yeah. Oh, right, oh, yeah, I'm using a 1.2 meter dish. I'm not expecting this to be fantastic in this band. I don't think I'm quite on you either. I'm a little bit too far north. Um, Scott's just swinging around now. So maybe that got a bit better there, uh, um, uh, Jeff. VK4, KWJ, VK4EA. Um, yeah, I'll put some CW on for you, Gil. I think no, it's okay. I think we've peaked you up on you now. Look, it's not very directive at this band, so I'm not really expecting great results. So that's good enough, mate. Great to make the contact. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, is that better, VK4EA, VK4KWJ? Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, you're still not as strong as uh, Scott was, though. Um, you're still well down from Scott, so you need to do something else. No, it's, um, I'm running a dish, I'm running a dish, so um, yeah, it's not very good at this band, not very good at this band at all. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised to make the contact there. Uh, Jeff uh, from Cobble Creek, Queen Golf, 62, something, 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 I can't remember what it is. Not a contest, who cares? Yeah, that's right. Um... Yeah, well, you're uh, 40, 50 over 9 here on Mount Cavett, Adam, VK480C Portable. Good morning, Doug, VK. 480C portable, just slogging this. You are a, a 5.9, uh, 20 over on the guest meter, over. Okay, I'll just write it in as plus. Just write it in as plus. And I'll make a 0036 Zulu. Uh, yeah, nice big signal from you. Um, I'm actually got uh, the Yagi pointed at you. So I've actually, uh, I think it's about 265 degrees. 
which should be pretty close to you, uh, Adam. The K4G82 portable, the K4ADC portable there, correct? Yeah, no worries, Doug. Uh, also, thanks for the uh, 5 and 9. Um, yeah, there's 20 degrees difference between you and Scott. I was just going over the VK logger, um, just trawling the, um, the op info profiles, just making a note of distance and bearing. And uh, according to the data, you're 106 kilometres away over. Oh, well, that's not bad. Uh, I'm running, um, uh, yeah, I'm running probably up around the 15 to 20 watts PEP. Oh, good. All right. Well, I'm just running a, a barefoot IC910. Name is Doug, and I'm located at Murray at the moment. Not quite sure where you are. Uh, I seem to remember it was over uh, Eastern Suburbs somewhere, Cleveland or somewhere like that. Um, so, um, you're very good. They should find another number of stations around uh, if you uh, just hang on the frequency. VK4JE, VK4OE Portable, Murray. VK4OE Portable, VK4JE. Okay, you're really positive five. 3DB Everett, S9 and Capella Bar in the Alexandra Hills. And nice to hear from you again. Doug, interesting, I would be interested in a report on the quality of the station, the quality of the station. I am mean, basically come in on field days, so we'll see that. Well, thanks for the contact, and we'll be seeing you. VK4OE, VK4JE boy. Roger, Doug, uh, VK4OE Portable. Uh, I've just swung the loop Yagi around uh, during that over and uh, should be a little bit stronger to you now. Now that I'm near the radio, I can... Uh... Just listening to uh, Adam, VK4GH said Portable at uh, Katoomba Lookout, working uh, Doug, VK4OE Portable at Murray. Not seeing much signal on them both. Adam was a little bit stronger uh, before. He was beaming us. He's now beaming to Doug. And Doug's uh, swung his antenna to Adam. Yes, good morning, Ron. VK4 KLC from uh, VK4 Golf Hotel Zulu Portable, Katoomba Point Lookout, Toowoomba, Queen Golf 52 X ray Kilo. Your signal reports 5 and 555, and uh, sounds like you could be having a bit of RF uh, feedback. Um, something not, not entirely clean, just to uh, give you an honest uh, signal report. Uh, over. Thank you.